In this video, Foster Christopher and my good self begin to paint the top sides of the boat with International Perfection Flag Blue Top Coat. We had to do five coats in order to get a good solid finish and it took a while messing around with the thinners to get the paint right, but we did it and Chris thoroughly enjoyed providing free labour due to the level of satisfaction provided. He actually wanted to do more coats, he enjoyed it so much. This is not a professional guide on how to paint a 54 foot boat, but if you want to give it a try yourself, let this be some inspiration. Right, we're about to start. We're about to start painting hull numero uno, pass numero uno. It's cool down. Top sort, isn't it? Scorpio. Yeah. We'll just be quick on the top. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> Who ever said painting in Greece in spring wasn't a good idea? Was wrong. And we're going to prove them wrong. <laughs> oh, we're going to prove them right. We'll see. What's this called? Tack rag. This is a tack rag. We're using it to get um, stuff off. And if you don't have a tack rag, you can use any rag with some varnish on it, but not too much. You can use a sock. You can use a pair of underpants, underpants. with None some varnish on it. Um, right, we're going to start painting. Enough bullshit. bullshit. <laughs> you just sprayed thinners all over me. <laughs> oh, sorry, mate. Is it on me? <laughs> You're going to paint it off? Just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're starting. So the day's finally come. We're about ready to paint now. Andy's just down below painting the old, uh, oh no, mixing the old paint. And uh, yeah, we've gone through torrential Greek thunderstorms and we've had immense amount of wind. So much so actually that the uh, fabricators, they couldn't manage it. So I think Andy and I have done quite well to endure this torrential, terrible weather. And uh, the man himself's just on with it now, check this out. Check my mixing skills out, mixologist. What colour is that mate? It's flag blue. Flag blue? For now, let's see. That's like the most perfect 75 fill, 75 mil polar I've ever seen. Hang on, not really, it isn't. <laughs> it's the most perfect thing that's not quite there. So we're just doing a bit of a test patch at the moment, just a small mix. We've got this swim ladder here. This is what the crows do. Yeah, it's what the brothers do, we're just uh, following suit really. 15% thinners. Mate, you're the math genius. We'll go with 10. Start off with 10. 7.5 mil. Right. That's uh, a syringe. Quite a small. That's a flipping. 1 mil. It's a dairy bake syringe. <laughs> it's an incident syringe. What's a 1 mil? I can't remember what I bought these though. I mean, not, not that I'd say on YouTube anyway. Uh, it'd be good if we. <laughs> <laughs> It could do with slightly bigger syringe to be fair, like, but never mind there. Eh? Yeah. Here's what it biggest is. Biggest can't be choosers, mate. This is the figure of eight. Oh, like that. Yeah, figure of eight, and that needs to be horizontal. Is that right? No, it's right. Yeah. You should know this. Is that? You do know. Where did you learn that? There. What, on the floor? Yeah, like a minute ago. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is the best technique, I'm sure of it. All right, so we need to leave this for a few minutes. Yeah. That's per manufacturer's recommendations. I must say, he's doing such a good job. Thank you, mate. Yeah. I appreciate it. Mate, I come from a town of uh, great boat painters. Boat Minutes. painters are blue sniffers. Right, here we go. Cheers. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not this time. Most expensive paint I've ever bought. Every millimetre of this, every milliliter of this is going on the boat or in Chris's belly. Painting it or we're getting drunk off it. There we go. Watching Chris here, master painter. Not master baiter, master painter. Slight difference. Yeah. Don't 
happened there? So that's a scratch. Neanderthals didn't see that. Leveling out all right. A bit peely, obviously. Yeah, it kind of always is a bit peely, but it's a bit more peely than I would like, if I'm honest with you, mate. Yeah. But. I'm going to try and tip it, see what you get, but I don't think it'll be better, if I'm honest No, it might not be, uh, might not be any different. You just get stripes rather than peel. Yeah. Hey, you are, dog. You like this, huh? Do another run over here, mate. There we go. 15%, yeah? Somewhere like that, yeah. It's in between 15 and 20. Yeah. That'll be a little wider than down. That's all right. There you go, mate. Sweet. Control. I'm going to have this down so I don't get the blue teeth. Bruce is now getting it down. Looking nice, mate. It's sticking well, isn't it? Oh, not much on it in places. We'll work it where we want it, I hope. Mm. Throw the fly into it. Just wasn't his time, was it? I think it wasn't there. See that bee then? No. <laughs> he just came, he looked in and he went. <laughs> Right, so we're on the transom, we're doing some painting. So this is the experiment stage, which is good, because we need it would have turned out as an experiment even if we didn't intend it to. <laughs> <laughs> so we're figuring out what's best to roll it and tip it, or just roll it, and then pass over it with the sander and then buff the, um, buff the, surfi buff the surface out afterwards. And I think we're gonna go with the latter because uh, it's going to be easier for us um, considering the conditions and the heat um, we're thinking we're getting a better finish with just the roller I think it's going on well mate well it's been better but it's only play the cards you've been dealt eh? yeah that's it man can't play other cards exactly <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I'm saying. Can't do that. <laughs> Give us the rules. Yeah. 
Yep. Chris, you're on the internet. How's the painting going? It's blue. It's blue. Well, that's what we wanted. Yeah. No other comment. Should have been a politician. <laughs> <laughs> Said no one. <laughs> no comment. So I think we're going to go with the roller and then we're going to be sanding back and doing the polishing because it seems like it's a bit too warm for the tip um, and it's just going on much nicer with the roller not getting a smooth finish obviously but we can fix that afterwards once we put a few coats on so that is the strategy yeah I think so I think that's the way to go I think it's going to look amazing mate when it's finished oh it should be top dollar mate going to be a bonny job Proto body, Proto body job. <laughs> Here's Chris. Concentrating, the concentrating. What are you doing? Don't make me not concentrate. Master baiter. I mean, master painter. <laughs> yeah, just smash this shit out, mate. There. Just I'm, I'm, the Just smash this shit. <laughs> but it's the real way to put something in it. Getting a nice shine, mate. Nice shine. It's all in the paint, apparently. You look more handsome in your reflection. Yeah, Look at Chris there. It's beautiful, that, isn't it? <laughs> Why sunglasses on? Looking good, mate. It's lovely now. The hole's still a bit hot, but we're planning on buffing it all up anyway after, so... Andy loves it buff, lad. I do love a buff, lad. It's looking good. All right, I'll get the brush on, mate. Good afternoon internet, we are about to continue sanding the transom, we wanted to wake up in the morning and start work and be productive but uh, we decided to drink a lot of alcohol last night and uh, we actually got on the shots like as soon as we started drinking, which we weren't going to do. We were do but Chris you know, <laughs> yeah you, <laughs> it's not likely, no no it's not likely Chris. So, Chris is starting on a bit of the hand business here. Yeah, we're just rubbing out some of the old uh, test patches. We, we learned a lot with this. Yeah. International perfection. Takes a bit to think about at first, but I'll tell you what, once you once you nail it, the finish is superb. It's yeah, absolutely. but it takes, yeah, it takes a bit of figuring out though, doesn't it, to actually it get is, the perfection. If you want that sail hub approved finish, it needs to be perfection. That's what it, yeah, that's exactly I mean, true. It's taken a long time to get to that level of <coughs> esteem with our oh, that was painting, powerful. but we're one of the only YouTube channels to have that certification and set up nowadays, aren't we? But yeah, so getting on a bit of the hand, this bit of the hand sanding business here in the corners. See, let me, sh let, let me show you the tipping. I'm not a fan of the tipping, right. Roland tip. tip. Um, <laughs> you can see I mean, I don't know if you can see. I don't even know what you're looking at. Hang on. Have we got the rag? I'll give it a clean. Maybe. Yeah, because then you'll be able to see the uh, imperfections in it. Yeah, that's the one we're using. Imperfection. International imperfection. <laughs> <laughs> this is international imperfection. Right, let's get let's get low down. Low down, baby. So the lower part is. Roll and roll. The top part is roll and tip. So you get you do get the glossy finish and it does take the bubbles out. But what's the point if you're then gonna have to be sanding all day to get rid of the um to get rid of the little tipping marks? Yeah, it does sand back nicely, yeah. And actually some of it I think turned out really well. And then some of it turned out horribly. So we're uh, we're sanding back with some pretty coarse paper. Some of the places where we got runs, we were experimenting with the thinners on the transom. Sail hub recommendation. Um, and now I've got the little hand piece. I'm doing thousands of circles, getting my RPMs up. And then we've got Chris over here, who's got the orbital. Saying, Andy, your orbital's too strong. <laughs> The manly orbital sander. The manly orbital sander. It's 
going nicely. We're just so, hang on, let me spin you around. So basically now just trying to get a flat surface so we can um, get the next layer on super smooth with the right amount of thinners that we know we need, which is just over 20%. And then you get a lovely flat finish, but then we're going to have to do all this again once we've finished all the coats, because we're going to have to knock it all back with like 800, 1000, 2000, then we're buffing everything. There's a lot of work left, but we love work, don't we? Yeah, that's what gave me. He, he, yeah, he said yes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> if he didn't, he meant it. Yes, that was fun. More sanding. Um, so yeah, we're getting, we're just getting it flat and it's actually coming out pretty good. So we're quite happy with that. So that's looking nice. Yeah, mate, I think. Any, oh shit, sorry. So oh shit, sorry again. Any final, mind. any final thoughts? What, on today or just in general? Life. One piece of advice. One piece of advice? Yeah. What would it be? Keep it wet. Keep it wet? The sandpaper? Well, just like just know. everything. <laughs> Keep it sloppy. <laughs> day Johnny boy. <laughs> right, so we've got another day of sanding. We're going to sand the transom. We're going to sand that side. Um, then probably when I come back tomorrow, because I need to go to the airport to drop my car off, we'll sand the other side, and then we're just going to start like whizzing round, getting our paint on, as we say. We don't say that. Um, so yeah, catch up with you in a bit. This is a shout out for a new podcast that I was a guest on called The Funny Boat Podcast. It's hosted by a very nice brown haired lady called Captain Boomies and her noble steed, a very handsome boat broker called Ed Pickering, also known as the Bearded Broker. We had a wonderful conversation about Skynet, the CIA and bearded women. I'll put a link in the description. Hope you enjoy it. So if you need sausage rollers for painting, but you can't find them, this is what you do. Do the Christopher Foster sale of approved method of making sausage rolls. You have to get the speed perfect, it's very technical. If you want advice on this, send an email to what's your email address, mate? Chris at Sailhub. Chris at Sail Hub, he'll point you in the right direction. Be careful with it. Yeah, it's really dangerous stuff. Looking good. So we're getting the final coat on right now. We're about three quarters of the way through. Here's Foster Christopher. How does it feel to get the final coat on, mate? It's beautiful. It's a beautiful day! <laughs> it's a good day, yeah. What do we call the final coat? Well, the final coat's been named after a rather famous sailor. <laughs> now I'm going to traverse myself into this scaffold. Ooh, that was easy. <laughs> now you can watch us paint this final bit here. Hello, right we're nearly done, we've just got this one bit left here that we need to towel off. Just started raining a little bit, which could be a disaster but we're keeping our spirits high aren't we Chris? Oh yeah. This is not going to be a problem. It comes naturally. No yeah, problem. I mean a bit of rain in the paint, that can only um, destroy it really. Just adds to the interest mate. Yeah, I think it'll be alright, it's only a tiny bit and it seems like it's just landing on the um, tow rail part here which... It's only landing on the boat, eh? Yeah, it's only landing on the paint part of the boat. Not a big problem. 